Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Ottawa Senators franchise mode. There was no stud in free agency for us to sign, so we picked up a couple one-year deals here in Hattie Kane, who will probably go up in overall, and we also got a goalie. Great. That's an awesome start. Love that. Overstepped the boundary a little bit. We got Linus Allmark, who's 87 overall. He's got an X-Factor. He'll probably go up as well, and he is on a one-year deal. So I think what I plan to do is try to find a second line right wing sniper to play with Norris and Batherson. And I want to package Igor along with Phil, our backup goalie for this year. And then I'm going to bring Mads up. So let me go do a quick scouting report and see what I can find. I have found a few potential options like Dawson Mercer or there is also Holtz. We'd have to give up a draft pick as well, of course. And there was one other team, the Golden Knights, that wanted both of them. And I was thinking maybe we could go after Mark Stone. He's not a sniper, but he does have a five-star shooting category. But the cap just does not work. There's nothing really we could do about it. There really isn't a happy medium here. Even if I try to get the Golden Knights to retain some salary, it just hops from one to the other. See, it went right to Vegas being under, and then it hops back to us being over. So, unfortunately... It's not doable. It would certainly be interesting to go after one of these players, but they are on long deals. So I don't really want to commit to that particularly right now. Brock Besser is pretty much exactly what we're looking for, actually. Second line right winger, unfortunately, does not have any abilities, but he's only 28, four years left on a $6 million deal, which isn't outrageous. We'd be freeing up our goalie spot there to get Mads as a backup. Igor, who clearly is not amounting to much, would be gone. And the value's on our side. So we have some wiggle room here. We could probably get a draft pick in there. Let's see who else is matching if we can add another player. No one here I'm really interested in. I'd rather a draft pick. So a second, definitely not going to happen. Mostly because they don't want Igor. They don't want Gustafsson. And they don't want to get rid of Besser. So even getting this to go through is probably going to be tough. I'll add a third. We'll move up around. Actually, no, let me try a fourth first and see what they say. Oh, uh, we don't have one. Let me try our lowest third then which would be vancouver oh man i guess like this allows us to bring mads up to be our backup goalie phil can be like an 87 overall goalie but we do have linus for this season which means we have the signing rights when the offseason comes before free agency so let's go ahead and give this a shot trade rejected all right so they aren't interested in that what about the higher value third propose Trade rejected. I don't know what to do. I don't want to just do this because I feel like we are absolutely losing that. What if I grab a third and don't send anything back? No. All right. Well, I feel like I'm giving up too much. So you know what? I think we're just going to play it out and have a similar approach to last year. So basically what that is, if we're doing well, we'll keep the guys together. If we're not, Patrick Kane's gone. Trade him away. And on top of that, we will trade away Linus. So I am going to play Mads in the AHL this year. He's still 24, so that should be okay. He's probably listed as a backup, though. No minor starter. Okay, lovely. All right, that works out then. Just signing some AHL players here to beef up that roster, and hopefully they will do well, because I feel like they haven't been. And then our strategy will remain the same in free agency as well. Hopefully someone shows up so that we can sign a... Star player that someone else couldn't. I think we should check our contracts, but I believe we are okay for now. There might be one or two players coming up here. Patrick Kane, obviously, we signed him to the one-year deal. We've also got Tyler. Medium top six forward, and he's already 82 overall. What do you want? Not much. Okay. Yeah, I can give you 1.8 for three years. Absolutely. Seems like a deal to me. Shane Pinto also coming up. He whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think so. I do not think so. We'll see. But I am extremely hesitant on that right now. Matthew Joseph looking for not a lot. But I think we could wait till the offseason for him. Same with Branstrom. I might just qualify him. We'll see what happens this year. And if we go to our goalies. Allmark obviously on the one-year deal. All right. Yeah, we're fine. $3 million of cap space. But with Allmark and on top of that, our boy Patrick Kane eating up a fair chunk of cap space, we should have a ton to get... A superstar that hopefully appears in free agency, please. We are off to a miserable start, 0-1. Don't know if we'll even be able to recover from that, but we're certainly going to try. Trade deadline all the way down here. All right, let's go, Sens. Come on. There's a big win over the Edmonton Oilers. Nice. Tyler joined back on what I believe to be a steal of a contract. Beautiful. Okay. Lads were cooking for a minute there, and then we lose a couple, but we beat the Red Wings. Overtime loss again. 
I will cement my point. I am extravagant. Extrava? Hold on. Reset. I am extravagantly down for overtime losses. There we go. It took me a minute, but I got there. We're actually doing okay. And we're fairly into the season here. Obviously, the opportunity to crash back down to Earth, very out there. It is not buried yet. It is still looming among the Ottawa Senators. But if we keep up this pace, we might actually be in for our first playoff run, which is sad. I can't believe I'm saying that, but... Yeah, this could be our first chance at getting into the postseason. Mayday, Mayday, we are crashing. Losing a bunch of games in a row here. Somehow we're still fourth in the division. Clearly the Atlantic has gotten a little bit worse recently. Okay, never mind. It's just the top two teams dominating. And then everybody else is, yeah, not great. It's a very close race for third. There's a big win. Spike has been canned. Let's go see what Spike's all about. Awesome. Belleville is doing well. That should help those players, I think. He is an A. A lot of A pluses, and they can this guy? He's only got a 52% team fit for us. Our coach is an A minus, but we have him on a deal and a half. 61% team fit. I'm keeping Doyle. I don't think going from the A minus to the A is really worth it. Although in the individual categories was certainly better. Patrick Kane leading the team at the moment, which is to be expected. Let's him up here. Day before the deadline. Watch, we're going to win both of these and give me a tough decision. Oh, we actually went one and one. So we are sat fourth in the division. Why? Why do we always have to be on the bubble? Every single year. I don't care. Haven't even seen the draft class this year and I'm stocking up. We're not going to be a team that lets Kane walk for nothing. We'll try to get a first round pick for him. Trade rejected. There should be some team looking to make a push that will make that trade. Unfortunately, the Wild would have too many players if it was just one for one, but theirs was the lowest value. They do want to get rid of our boy Brandon here though, and he's only got one year left at 775. So let's see if this works. Trade rejected just a bit low. So you know what I will do? We'll go to my draft picks if I can find them. There we go. And I will toss in a seventh. Pleasure doing business with you. Boom. Patrick Kane gone. Uh... Assistant best roster. I don't care anymore. Allmark does have a 914. Oh my word. Okay, we need to get rid of this guy. He is a problem. This is the only team that wants him. And you know what? I think getting Stone, he's 33, is a better replacement for Patrick Kane. He's got two years left as well. We are going to be eating some salary cap though, which would affect our chances to get a stud in free agency. That's the only thing stopping me from adding a pick and making this go through. I think I'm going to try to get this LA second for him. Six years left at 5.3, and then we'd be bringing back a goalie as well who's got medium fringe start. He's got some all right stats. Will this go through? We could try it out. It does. All right, so Mad's coming up. We already knew that. Okay, relax. You did not get an absolute steal there. I would advise that you contact your scouts and see how poor... Gustafson was doing because his stats are gross. Allmark actually does want an extension and he's doing well. Let's see what he wants. Six million? I think that's fair. We're paying him seven right now. We get a discount because obviously we have him. So we have the priority to sign before free agency again. I'm going to try locking him in for three years. That'll take him till he's 35. He should be all right. And that will be good for the next few years here. And we could trade him if need be. Mads doesn't want much of anything. Come on, you gotta get growing. Why is nobody going up in overall? There we go, Shane Pinto already asking for a little bit less, eh? Keep the trading block. I'm not even gonna go into the deadline. We already made our moves. Please let me know if those contracts get signed. Then we got our two goalies, Rasmus Anderson headed to Edmonton in exchange for a first and next year's second. And that's it. Keep advancing. Ah, uh, no, I'm okay this time around. Perfect, we got Linus back, we got Mads. Good stuff. Igor has 17 points playing second line minutes. That's incredible. I'm actually going to put Shane Pinto on the wing there. Any centerman? All right, Victor, congrats. You've been promoted. I guess I'll play... Yeah, Igor can play here. You are left-handed, so that works out. Anyone here have decent face-offs? 70 for Joseph. All right, congrats. You're hired. In the middle you go. Still seeing no growth from Bernard Docker or Brandstrom. Thompson seems to be hard stuck at 82 overall for now, but he's still 25. He's got next year. Jake Sanderson, 86. And now we have Linus Allmark as a goalie locked in. Mads, 
Can you please at least go up to like 82? That's all I ask. That goalie we acquired from LA? I think it was LA. Anyway, he's going to be the backup in the AHL with Levi as the starter. I'm kind of fed up with Tyler not doing much, so I'm moving Yuri to be the first pair with Walsh. Before I play Shane on the second line, should I sign him? <laughs> Maybe he'll put up some points and ask for more. We'll find out. Going to sim the rest of the season now. Again, it's still possible that we make the playoffs. It's unlikely, but the chance is there. I just really need this game to throw me a bone because I feel like I have been getting shafted the last few seasons here. Even if we don't make playoffs this season, which we are getting deleted right now, so that's not happening. Can somebody hit free agency, please? You know what? Hold on. Time out. Time out. I need to view the draft class because we have a lot of picks. Oh my word. Now this is more like it. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. I am moving up if it is the last thing I do. We're going after Artem. We've also got Sean Spiller here. A gem. Another gem. Can you guys please keep losing? Is that- We could even win the draft lottery, technically, if we have a miserable finish to the season here. But we're fifth in the division. We'd have to basically lose out. And I don't know how we'll manage that. But it is possible if you've seen our- Record, of course. Yeah, here we- Oh, amazing! Good job, guys! At this point, we might even make the playoffs. <laughs> Never mind, we're not going after Artem! We are in the Stanley Cup playoffs against the Tampa Bay Lightning. How does that happen? How? We end up third in the Atlantic Division with 95 points. Yeah, we were destined to make it because... The Panthers made it in with 92. I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but it's our first playoff run. I kind of want to make this a separate video. I think I am going to do that. We'll look at some stats. We'll look at all of the pieces that we have. I am just now seeing that we finished the season 10-0-0. Pardon me? Eighth in the league, you know. We're on the front page, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that 10-0-0 certainly helped. In fact, it's the only reason that we are here. But we're here. Let's look at some player stats. See how everyone did. Actually, before we do that, I real quick want to see how the AHL team did. They didn't make playoffs. They were doing so well. What happened? Whatever. NHL, we are in. And I want to see how the individual players did. Great number. 72. Let's go, Jimmy. And then Kachuk with a minus three. Not good. 90 pims. Holy. And 62 points. So... Yeah, we are really in dire need of a first-line goal scorer. Drake Batherson is not going to fill that role. Shane Pinto ended up with 49 points, and he's still 82 overall. Jake Sanderson still 86. No one's, like, really in the minus this year, except for Bernard Docker. A complete liability. Maybe he should go. I mean, his value's practically nothing. But that last pair... Not cutting it. Maybe we should call someone up from the AHL and basically give these guys the boot because they aren't doing too much, evidently. Could call up Walsh, 45 points in 70 games, 79 overall, and was a plus 17. I mean, it's the AHL, sure, but Tyler had 28 points. Filatov, still 73 overall. Yep, sounds about right. Both goalies did quite well on 940 for Thomas. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. A 155 GAA with 22 games played. Look at this guy. 3-0-0 with a shutout and a 948 save percentage. And he is still 80 overall. Unbelievable. Linus Allmark had a 910. Six shutouts and a 284. That is extremely acceptable. Good job. Shabbat and Chikrin both had 52 points. Yeah, Sanderson actually kind of went off. It's just this last defensive pair that is really causing problems. They are both right defenders, so that's most likely the issue, which makes me want to call up Tyler almost. I mean, he is a minor top four, but at least he's a left defenseman, you know? I could even call up... No, nah, he's way down there. Tyler would be the move. Or maybe we could even give Yuri a shot. It would be too soon, but maybe it'll be good for him. So let me know who you think we should call up because that last pair is not getting it done. And which one of these guys should we basically healthy scratch? I'm thinking maybe Brandstrom. Ah, uh, they both got... Oh, he's got low top six. Jeez. I don't know how to see it now that the season has ended, but we have, I think, three first round picks. Potentially four. But I am almost 
100% sure that we have at least three. Pinto is still floating around the three range. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't even look like we're going to have a lot of cap to sign a player, actually. Unless we... I'll qualify Branch, I'm obviously not just going to send him. And Joseph... Uh, maybe. We'll see how much he wants, but most likely going to let him walk because we could find a replacement easily. The only player I think I might resign is Pinto, and he would practically make up for letting these two go. Apparently, we were scoring goals, though. We had a 3.21 goals for per game, which is third. And that's where we finished in the division. What about goals against per game? 3.02, which is, again, all right. These guys did a really good job of keeping the puck out of the net. We had a high goals against per game for the top five, but not, like, incredibly higher power play percentage could certainly be improved 15.9 we should probably look at the power play penalty kills doing okay 88.7 yeah that's competable with these that's not a word <laughs> i just made up a new word i think oh the power play one has a plus five power play two is zero which isn't horrendous it's not great but it's not in the negatives plus one that one's a minus one so that's not ideal yeah, I don't know. What about our penalty kill, which was actually pretty solid? Interesting. Okay. Yes. All right. Nothing too bad here. Igor with 23 points in 82 games. He was a plus one somehow, and he's still 79 overall. Listed as a fourth line forward. All right, that's it. You are going to be a fourth liner then. You'll be playing with Cole and Matthew. Miles Wood has officially received the promotion. Yeah, seems fair to me. Tyler Boucher only put up... 26. He was a plus 7. Still only 82 overall listed as a third liner, but there's no second liner really to take his spot, so he's got to stay there. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm either going to call up Yuri or one of the other left defensemen. Hetherington, Tyler, someone's got to come up because that last defensive pair is not getting the job done whatsoever. And yeah, the next video we will... We'll give it a run. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave any opinions, thoughts, what we should do here. I still can't believe we finished 10-0 and 0. That's got to be historic. Has any team ever done that in the history of the NHL? It's definitely happened before, but still. Well, I appreciate you guys. I will see you soon.